Yin Tian Composting, the author of The Morning Sun in Wuhan. Today, we are going to cook the colorful stir-fried rice from the book. The book is about a 13 years old May. Find the comfort in cooking and the computer game. This gives readers a glimpse about what's life like in the epic center of the pandemic. But it's not a book just about COVID. What I really want to show the reader is the resilience, the community, and the love of people in Wuhan. And it's really my love letter to my birth city, Wuhan. So for this recipe, colorful stir fried rice, I cooked some black rice today. And uh, I have three eggs, uh, toasted almond. And this is uh, just from a frozen vegetable. And if you're in a hurry, but if you have fresh vegetable, which I have both today, you can also you know, use whatever fresh vegetable you have in hand. And the soy sauce, I like to use the organic soy sauce, sesame oil, and the olive oil. So for people like to eat meat, you can also add it ham. That will also give some extra flavor. This is my invention. It's more like an East meat West. So when my son was running cross country, I always trying to figure out a way to let him eat more protein. So I added the toasted almond and the ham in my childhood favorite stir fried rice. So that's why this is called he always call it colorful stir fried rice, always all different color vegetables. Also, it's a great way to get the kids eat more vegetables. They just all mix together, taste wonderful. Okay, so just chop some ham. So, but if you're a vegetarian, you can replace the ham with a flavored tofu or satan. So you don't really have to have the ham. The key is you need to make sure your wok is really, really hot before you add the oil. So that way your food is not going to stick to the bottom. Instead of uh, cook, put the egg directly in the pan, I like to stir fry them first and flavor the egg before I uh, cook it. And one thing is this, this stir fried rice is very uh, uh, popular in Wuhan. Whenever we have a friend's gathering, we always have a uh, this uh, dishes and so this is what I do I would I like to use my chopstick um, pop up the, the egg first and then I will flavor the egg before I cook in the pan that's kind of a secret of this recipe so the egg is much more flavorful than you flavor afterwards so I'll put a little bit of soy sauce it's about one tablespoon but I kind of just no so I just put in there and little sesame oil and some chopped green onion. I probably make them a little smaller. It's so pretty by the time you cook this egg. You know, during the cultural revolution, the egg is rationed. So we only get a few eggs a month when I growing up. So whenever my grandmother cooked this dish, it's always a big treat for me. And I always hop around the walk, want to get a first bite because the egg is just so precious. That's a little bit, it's already hot enough. So now you see, I put the egg in. And that's why the key is to make sure the walk is hot. So now I'm just going to throw in some ham and some vegetable. So like if you're busy, you come home from work, you can just get some uh, colorful stir uh, vegetable, frozen vegetable in here. Looks beautiful. And the last, you're going to put in this 
rice. You can use brown rice, white rice, and I love use the forbidden rice because when I was young, my grandmother told me the reason this rice called forbidden rice because only the emperor of China was allowed to eat this rice. And it's very healthy, so that's why I love to eat the black rice whenever I can. So this is pretty much done. It's so easy. I hope all my readers will have a chance to try one of my favorite dish from Wuhan, stir fried colorful rice. The last thing is I'm going to garnish this with some more green onion and toasted nuts. We're going to put it all there. And You know, cooking is like a painting. I feel each time you can be creative, you can do what you want to do. All my dishes, every time I cook, they're a little different, depending on what ingredients I have in hand, depending on uh, who I'm cooking with or who I'm cooking for. Perhaps I'm biased, but I think Hubei cuisine is the best in all over China, or if it's not, or even the world. I have traveled to many places, but I'm always homesick for the, my Wuhan cuisine. The food is so important in Chinese culture, especially in Wuhan. We always have food whenever we get together with friends. This is how we show our love and friendship. We cook our homemade food for each other. And that's why in this book, I have many recipes, the Wuhan delicacy and a simple recipe for my reader. I love for my reader to read this book and to cook some of the Wuhan food. And it's very simple and I simplify them and uh, young readers can definitely cook some of this recipe to enjoy. I so can identify with the main character because that's how we uh, support each other. She decided to cook for the medical workers and the people in need. And now I'm going to take the rice. It's so good. Mm -hmm.